basically, you know, this is a perfectly fine peach, but you'll see there's kind of um, dents or bruises. And a customer at Whole Foods, yeah, they won't, they, they won't buy that. what Ashley does is she picks up fresh produce from our stores and she takes them to local food banks and kitchens that need it. Uh, my name is Ashley Stanley. I'm the founder and executive director of Love and Spoonfuls. Right now I just came from Landsake Farm which is in Weston. Did the same kind of thing we're doing here uh, and then come down to Allendale which is where we are right now and essentially what we are doing is picking up what didn't sell from uh, their farm stand markets and their CSAs. We really want to make sure that what is either coming out of the field that they can't sell or what isn't selling you know, at retail at the markets is that it's not going to waste because it really is such beautiful fresh mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and, and it's healthy and it's ready to go and we really want to make sure that we can get it directly uh, to soup kitchens, pantries, crisis centers, places where they can then feed hungry folks with it. Yeah, they're beautiful and, and we're just getting into tomato season right now and the whole summer's just been phenomenal but, but everything tastes different. It just tastes so, um, really so fresh and really from the ground. The carrots are just so amazing. Uh, the tomatoes are great. The, the beets are so good. Um, just so much that's available. The cucumbers, the, um, you know, the peaches, now the berries and all of that. And, and there's really no reason for what is left over uh, or what can't sell for it to be thrown out. Um, you know, there, there's composting that happens. I think here, if we, if we really can uh, do the food rescue, it places a little bit of a higher value on that food. Uh, and we can get it really, um, really into people's mouths. Okay, so we, I first saw Ashley in Edible Boston two years ago with, uh, she had an article, I've seen her ads, I've seen her mentioned by other farmers and stuff, but we'd already been hooked up with a, with a much larger food bank. And when we found out that food bank sometimes sells or redistributes, I didn't think that that was like the most mainstream way to get stuff to people. And so this spring I called her because I was looking for someone a little, who was a little more personal instead of dealing with a, with a larger food bank, which I don't have any problems with, I just wanted a better relationship with people. I called her and we donate and she comes every Friday. It was a little confusing as to where our food goes and that was sort of bothering me a little. But then hooking up with Ashley, we really know, we know exactly what she's doing with the food. She gives us a very like detailed report of like how many families we're feeding and things like that. The reaction of other farmers is I think they're starting to get on board donating somewhere. But we're all, do all the farmers are donating something because there's always extras. There's always something that we can't retail that, that's perfectly edible but just isn't blemish free or perfect that the consumer wants to pay top dollar for. But our goal is to send quality food out, not sub-quality because just because you're homeless or you're lower income or you're having a hard time f finding or affording good food doesn't mean you should eat poor quality food because Everyone can eat macaroni and cheese, everyone can eat pasta, everyone can get like low quality eggs. But if we have high quality stuff, that will just help these people both mentally and physically, hopefully climb up the ladder a little more, you know, and educate them about what food is possible to have and hopefully brighten their day a little bit, you know. I mean, they have enough struggles, why struggle with their food, you know. Because of Ashley's help, the food that she brings in is incorporated into our daily meals plan. We are able to prepare over 2,100 meals each day by utilizing the food that we receive from Love and Spoonfuls. Of course, preparing meals using fresh fruit and vegetables takes a bit more time than opening canned products. The outcome is so much better though. The taste of the meals is fantastic. It's much more healthier than using canned products. And it also gives our culinary students that are in our training program the experience in learning how to prepare tasty and healthy meals.
I had come from the farm and I had uh, corn and green beans and, you know, bananas and tomatoes and um, all kinds of fresh stuff from the field. And, uh, and there were a lot of berries there also. Yeah. And we were dropping off um, at a soup kitchen downtown and there were some young folks there really really young folks online and it was clear that they had never eaten anything that wasn't out of a can yeah. that wasn't fresh that didn't sort of taste uh, as it should like wow. the earth like like as like as we know yeah. that that fresh food can taste so to be there for like and I just, out of the corner of my eye, you know, we're loading this stuff in and they, and they got some of the folks to come and help us. And I just, I was putting a crate down and I saw out of the corner of my eye, this kid eat some berries and eat a banana. And he was then munching on a carrot and his eyes were like, like out of his head. Right? And it, yeah. and you could see, um, that there was such a reaction to Oh my God, I've never tasted anything like wow. this before. And in that moment, it was, it was really beautiful in some ways. And, and then there was another part of me that said, you know, God, eating well and, and eating what's so abundantly available shouldn't be a privilege. Exactly. It shouldn't be a monumental moment mm -hmm. um, in somebody's life. It, it's a right. Yeah. 